what are signs what's going on babies cancer scorpio and pisces what's up water signs i hope you guys are doing well feeling good um i'm sending you lots of love let's see we're about to get into your next 48 message thank you guys for being here welcome back those of you that's returning and welcome if you are new and you decide to tap in with us for the first time all right some of you could have Virgo in your chart. You could be connected to a Virgo. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and North Node. Let's get into your next 48. Please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. Just because you are an Earth sign and you have Earth highly aspect in your chart doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be your message. Please check out your other placements and keep an open mind. Virgie Bird. Is in Virgo Virg is significant. Okay, Virgo Virg. I'm here in Virgo, Virgo, and I keep cutting the deck on Virgo. So some of y'all definitely connected to a Virgo. There's a Virgo that's in your energy water signs, or like I said, some of you can have shown Virgo in your chart. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Water signs: Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Holy Spirit, Angels, Cover Show, protecting us. I channel this energy for Earth signs. Uh, see, I'm calling y'all earth signs. Earth signs are significant. Earth signs are in your energy. Holy Spirit and angels are the highest white light. Cover show protecting as I channel this energy for water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rise, and North Node. What is it that they need to know at this time? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Next 48. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rise, and North Node. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. There we go with the hermit. Again, I'm telling you, this Virgo energy showing up so strong for you guys. I'm not even surprised that the Virgo, that the hermit is the second card out. I keep getting Virgo energy. Uh, water signs, some of you could be leaving a job, okay? Some of y'all could definitely be leaving a job. You could be leaving a community, leaving a home, leaving a job. Some of y'all are leaving. You going somewhere else, you packing up. Some of y'all could just also be going on like a road trip, a, a getaway. Some of you could be going on a vacation here. I feel like this is something to celebrate, though. Whatever you leaving behind, you have a reason to celebrate, okay? So out with the old and with the new, there's some sort of celebration here. You could be doing something alone, though. I feel like you're going alone. So some of you could be going on a solo trip, a solo vacation, or some of you are just um, relocating, but you're doing it. You're doing it by yourself. Some of you could even be moving to a different state, different country or some shit by yourself. Like, you may not even know nobody there for real, but you're ready to do this shit. <sighs> Safe travels, water signs. Um, let's see. Yeah, celebration here. Wanting to be left alone, though. Having a good time, but by yourself. That's what I feel. Like, I feel like you guys are having a good time, but you're having a good time by yourself. Yeah, something is over. The tower. Something that was burdening you, something that was stressing you out is over. It's done. It's like, it's over. It's done. Um, I feel like a lot of people feel like you're leaving them behind, though. A lot of people could be burdened by you making this move. A lot of people could be burdened about you transforming your life or going in a new direction, separating from them, getting away from them. There could be people that really feel like there's people that's in their feelings about you changing the course of your life somebody here is really like feeling like you just leaving them behind like you definitely not taking nobody with you wherever you're going yeah you you moving you moving on your road is open your path is clear and i feel like you're just getting away from toxic people somebody here could be wanting to like control you or just have a grip on you like somebody here wants to know what's going on in your life at all times and i feel like whatever moves you making is definitely getting in the way of this person's plans to interfere with your life or to be all in your business, to know what you got going on at all times. Whoever's in this energy, they're going to be mighty fucking mad knowing that they can't really, you know, that they can't really, like, um be in your life as much as they, they want to be. Like, somebody here just want to be in your business a lot, and they're not going to be able to be in, a, in your fucking business anymore. Some of y'all are getting a divorce or you breaking up with somebody, too. I feel that, too. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Capricorn. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn, a fellow water sign, a Scorpio possibly. But somebody here is definitely separating from somebody. They're getting the fuck away from somebody. 
and they feel good about it. Somebody here could even be like having a party or a divorce party or some shit like that. Somebody here is like, you ain't going nowhere over my dead body, bitch. What is this? This shit just took a dark turn here. Water signs is all... Y'all shit be too much for me sometimes. Water signs is always... I don't know. It just be a little dark sometimes with y'all. Not saying that you dark, baby, but I'm just saying, like, the energy just be taking a turn. Somebody here could be feeling like... They will, I'd rather see you die than to walk away. I'd rather see, I'd rather you be out of here than to see you walk away. I'd rather see your ass out of here. It's like you'll die before you leave me. Who the fuck is this? Somebody here could be a Gemini, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Capricorn. Somebody here like you'll die before you leave me. But I feel like this could be, I hope it's not in the physical room. But for some of y'all, this is a spiritual attack. And somebody here could have, like, wanted to see somebody, like, suffer really bad. Somebody here could have been doing, like, sickness spells on somebody to either get them to be in really, really bad health or to get them to be in bad health so much to the point where they actually check. And it's because they know that somebody don't want to be with them anymore. But I feel like whoever did this shit, it's like they did this shit to an alchemist. So somebody here didn't get sick. If somebody sent somebody some sickness spells, they the person didn't actually get sick because they able to transmute that energy. Somebody's an alchemist. Somebody is a magician. Water signs, this would be your ass. You could have Sag in your chart. You could be an earth angel. We got the temperance earth angel here and a magician. I feel like you was able to transmute this dark ass energy and you wasn't able to be sick here. Somebody here could have also been having like some sick twisted fantasies or desires about poisoning you. This shit is dark as fuck. And this is because somebody heartbroken. That's it. They heartbroken because you moving on with your life. They heartbroken because you taking off and you want you want to go on a vacation or you just want to set out on a brand new journey. You want to build a brand new life for yourself as a solo person. And this person is heartbroken. So they just want to see you poisoned. They want to see you sick. They want to see you in your deathbed. They want to see you like what? Because you heartbroken? Like somebody here is out of control. They out of pocket. I'm telling you, this shit did not work though. Because you happy. We have the sun card here. You happy. You still setting out on a brand new journey. You celebrating. You able to transmute and alchemize dark ass energy. Yeah. Somebody here can't believe this shit. This person is an Aquarius. This person is an Aquarius. Or a Capricorn. A Gemini. A Scorpio. Whoever the fuck this is. This person is dark as fuck. Like this some dark ass shit here. <laughs> like this person dark. Like it's not funny. Excuse me. But it's just, it's, nothing is funny about this. I just be chuckling when shit is uncomfortable sometimes. This person could actually be wanting to come towards you now to work things out with you. Because you're not sick, because you're still happy, because you're still breathing, because you're still living, because you're still moving on with your life. Now this person want to come towards you and play nice. This, you may not even know that this person was doing this shit behind the scenes. This was like, a, this is something that, this is something that was hidden. This was something that was going on behind your back. And it's like, they could have already knew that you was planning on leaving them. So it's like, I'm just, I'm just in your life. And motherfuckers, they know that you was like, um, preparing to divorce this person, preparing to break up with this person, to preparing to move across town or preparing to just get away from this person. And it's like, yo, what happened to so-and-so? And it's like, oh, so-and-so passed away. And it's like, really? How that happened? The last time I talked to so-and-so, they was, they was excited. They was moving or they was packing their shit. They was booking their ticket, booking their flight. What you mean they passed away? And it's like, yo, they just got real sick. Like, they just passed away. And it's like, hmm, something don't sound right. Like, that's how this shit would have ended up playing out. Like, people would have been raising their eyebrow at this person because it's like, you the one that has been abusive or mean to this person for such a long time. And now, all of a sudden, when they trying to set out and, and create a brand new life for them and get away from your ass, now, all of a sudden, they sick. Now, all of a sudden, they passed away. This person ain't never have no health issues. Now, all of a sudden, they on a deathbed. It's like some shit like that. Like, th this person wouldn't have got away with this shit anyway. Because people would have been looking at this person like they're the main culprit. Like, somebody here would have been looking at this person like they're the main suspect. Whoever you are, uh, water signs, you an empress. Like, this person wasn't going to get away with this shit anyway. They really wasn't. 
This person could be a fellow water sign, a Gemini. They a fellow water sign like you a Gemini or an Aquarius or some shit like that. This person getting karma too just for planning this shit. Just for having these sick, twisted fantasies. Just for having these, uh, just for, just for behaving recklessly. Just for having these thoughts alone. This person is getting some sort of karma. This shit is foul as fuck. Knight of Wands in the reverse. This is somebody that could have been cheating on y'all, being abusive, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, all of the above. This is somebody that knows that you're protected. Somebody here could also be getting like a restraining order on somebody. This shit crazy, dog. But you good, though. Like, if this is your situation, you good. I feel like you crying, though, but you good. You free and you protected and you safe. And that's what's most important. But I just feel like somebody here is crying because they was scared or they just been through so much. They're so overwhelmed. Yeah, whoever you are, you're showing up as the Queen of Cups. You're so loving. You're showing up as the Empress and the Queen of Cups. This is a damn demon that you was fucking with. And trust me, I know how it is. I was with a demon before, too. Lived with that motherfucker and everything. But yeah, we got the Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups and the Empress. So, some of y'all, you definitely, um, very loving, divine feminine energy. You can have air in your chart. You're showing up as the Empress, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. You know, the Empress embodies all the queens. So, you could literally have... Whatever in your chart, it really wouldn't matter. But some of you guys could definitely have air in your chart. Yeah, God is on your side here, the Hierophant. You have strong protection here. Judgment got called in this situation. You have archangels that's protecting you. You have angelic protection. Yeah. Ten of, ten of Pentacles. Some of you, if you're worried about money, you don't need to worry about money. You have more than enough money to travel. You have more than enough money to make the moves you want to make. You have more than enough money to, to build the life that you want to build for yourself. Yeah, you go, you you got you in a nine of cups here. It's it's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to celebrate. You need to celebrate that you got out of this. Okay? Celebrate that you was able to successfully get out of this. Yeah. You good. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. This wasn't no equal give and take. Two of cups in the reverse. And now this person got to, the nerve to be crying over you. Why they crying? Because they can't abuse you no more. These motherfuckers really get on my nerves, bro. Like, this shit really blows my... It really grinds my gears. This shit get me tight. Because it's like, what you crying for? You crying because you can't abuse somebody no more? The fuck? You crying because they still living and they left your ass? That's what you crying for? Somebody here need to... You know what? Let me calm down. <laughs> Let me calm down, y'all. Y'all know I will be feeling this shit. Anyways, water signs, congratulations. Safe travels if you are traveling. This person feels like you two have unfinished business. No, y'all don't. This is somebody that's finding out that your life is taking off without them and they're going to feel like you have unfinished business. This person is going to try to like manipulate you into being with them, manipulate you and gaslight you into being with them. No, you know that this person abusive as fuck. Ain't nothing changed. You sail in the calm of waters. This person, they a cheater too. This person, mm -mm. this person ain't no good, y'all. But you know that, which is why you're getting away from them. Yeah, they're very deceptive. King of Wands in the reverse. This person is very argumentative, very combative. This person could be a fire sign, an air sign. Or they can have strong fire or air in their chart. This person, they like very out of out of control. This person could also be mad because they know that somebody's going to love you properly. Some of y'all could have met somebody here too. And if you have children with this person, they mad. They're going to try to cause problems for you because they don't want nobody around their kids. First of all, this person is more of a, a father figure than you would ever be. And this person is healthy. They're healthy to be around the kids. You the one that's the problem. You the one that don't need to be around your own damn kids with your abusive ass. This motherfucker done got me tight. Whoever this is, this person deserved to get their ass whooped. This motherfucker gonna run into somebody in the street that's gonna put the beats on them. Because people like this, they always meet somebody that's bigger and badder. Every dog has his day. And I'm not wishing that on this person. I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't be surprised if some shit like that end up playing out for them in their life because this is somebody that just feel like they could just do whatever the fuck they want. And this person's still trying to control your life after the fact that you've escaped them. After you escaped them and you escaped uh, death and sickness and all this other shit they were trying to send you away. It's like this person like, well, I don't want nobody around my kids. Like, motherfucker, nobody needs you around them damn kids.
you are the one that's leading a, a, a you are the poor example you the one that's leaving a bad example here you the one that's the issue here even if they are your kids you you ain't good for your kids and you worried about somebody else being a good example for your children this is somebody here that's really if you if you have kids with this person this person really gonna show their ass about them kids they're gonna make a real fuss about that about somebody being around their kids or raising their kids or something like that Child, please Anyways, what the signs? That was your next 48. I hope it helped. Um, congratulations on the divorce. Congratulations on the separation, on the breakup. Congratulations on the new home. Congratulations on the trip, on the vacation, on the travels. All right, I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.